take a candle, just a taper candle and just light I it and, do and let the natural light. We'll see then, but you can let the natural light kind of. I'm going to burn my house it. down. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should put a disclaimer <laughs> in this episode. <laughs> if you have a four-year-old that sleeps in your bed with you and he tends to flail his appendages, <laughs> you might not want to have a lit candle next to your bed. <laughs> don't leave burning candles unattended <laughs> I'll, I'll put one on the kitchen stove and it can burn in there <laughs> his four-year-old brother like broke his legos i'm like they're legos that sounds the like my point kids. of legos is you can put them back together yeah my, my kids they get mad at the four-year-old for the same thing do you have to constantly <laughs> tell your kids hey guess what if your legos weren't all over the floor he wouldn't keep taking them. And if your Legos weren't all over the floor, then I wouldn't try to break my neck <laughs> because I tripped I, over your I Legos. Have cut, I have a cut on the bottom of one of my toes and I'm pretty sure it's from stepping on a toy. Oh, the bad thing is, is I don't even remember which toy. 